Hi. Welcome to Astronomy One on One. Today in Astronomy One on One, we're going to learn how to make a 3D solar system. Here's everything you'll need. Anybody can be a part of making a 3D solar system. All you need is the basic necessities to a normal day, such as a styrofoam ball, party string, scissors. Make sure you get the dull ends. Onion. Soggy orange. Duct tape. Marker. You can have whatever color you prefer. I like blue. Butcher knife. Scottish tape. Glazed honey bun. Not iced. Glazed. Stars. Jack in the box man. When we're done and completed with our task of making a 3D solar system, it'll look a little something like this. The first thing you'll need is your dual tip scissors to make the background for your solar system. Making the background is very important and you want to cut just enough stars in the back to make it look realistic. How should I do this? know how to cut a star perfect now we need to hang up our background for our 3d solar system in doing this you will need your party string and your scissors. You want to cut just enough party string to hang. You slip it through here. If you don't have a nice light like this, you could always use a broom handle. Um, can we, can we cut, can we cut please? The manual said it would stay up here. I don't know what's wrong. There. Mm -hmm. the Let's try the other side. Whew, I'm glad we got that worked out. Okay. Now, with the effect of the flashlight, we will shine it through the star paper and it will create an illusion of a background of stars for our 3D solar system. Ta-da! Now, I personally believe I would like a few more stars for my background. Like these. So I'll grab my Scottish tape. 
and I will simply take them to my star illusional background. Now that we have our illusional background over with, we get to work on our planets. First we will start with this planet. It is the biggest of them all and it is yellow. So obviously, that's right, you guessed it. It's Pluto. Labeling, in your, labeling your planets is very crucial. Because if you don't label, no one will really know who, who it is or what they are. I mean, what if you didn't have a name? Now we will hang Pluto. Oops. Let's try the Scottish tank. Yeah, I think two feet's enough. Um, let's go back to the duct tape. Okay, Pluto. The Scottish tape might be able to help now too, give a little bit more support for Pluto. Perfect. Isn't everything going gray so far? Now Pluto, you're going to stay whether you like it or not. There. That did the job. Now, we will move to Saturn. While making Saturn, you will use your butcher knife and your onion to cut the ring, as so. I gotta go talk to my mom real fast. Mom says the butcher knife isn't sharp enough. Steady. Steady. Oh my <laughs> Thanks for tuning in for Astronomy 101. Now that we have all four planets, I think we did a great job. I had fun. Didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs>